Check out Justin Bieber in January 2010. Yeah, a decade ago. It's safe to say the Biebs has changed a lot since then, and E.T. is taking you through his evolution. Entertainment Tonight, always there. It was around this time that his star started exploding, and so did his hair, with those sideswept bangs and everything. He loved black jackets and thick-rimmed glasses. Remember the Megamind premiere? I'm trying to do my Clark Kent, you know? Fast forward to 2011, he rocked his signature purple at the premiere of his movie, Never Say Never. Fun fact, his now wife Haley was also there, and so was Selena Gomez. And then, big move, he chopped those famous locks and made his red carpet debut looking snazzy AF with Selena Gomez at the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Just woke up and I was like, I don't want this anymore, so I just cut it. And, you know, the fans really liked it, but, I mean, they'll, they'll like me no matter what because it's, you know, I think it's, it's about the music and, and uh, so... I'm really excited to see what, what the fans overseas think and um, and take it by day by day. Justin only got more popular and started experimenting more with fashion. I'm having a great time. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. He started rocking nice sweaters and beanies. The girls were going gaga for JB. And there was thousands of girls on my, outside my hotel, so they just all swarmed the car. It was crazy. 2012 is when he really started going more spiky with his do. As long as you la 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 Thank you, that's perfect. That's that's our secret. That's how my hair looks like that. She spits in it. This is when he started making choices in his own personal life too. And I'm eighteen, you know, I'm I'm growing as an artist and my fans are growing with me, so I'm just making music that reflects that. I moved out, um, you know, I think that um, you know, I'm traveling, I, I'm, I'm making more, you know, I have more responsibility. He got into some trouble the next few years. Who can forget this iconic mugshot look? But when he returned to the spotlight in 2015, he had a slicker and lighter colored do at his own Comedy Central roast. This was a moment for me to really show people where I'm at in my life right now. And uh, that's where I'm at. I'm in a moment of change. And I, like I said before, I've done a lot of things that I'm not proud of, but this is, uh, this is a new day and a new, we're turning a new leaf here. His tattoo collection had also grown a lot, and he was all about the grunge look as he promoted his reflective album, Purpose. I felt like I lost my purpose for a while. I'm just learning more how to navigate through situations better and how to like just be myself. Over the next few years, we saw Justin go really blonde. And in 2019, he had fun with his street style while stepping out with now wife, Haley. He got even more ink, yeah. He really let those locks grow out, though we gotta say at his wedding, he looked pretty darn sharp. And we have to mention, he really owned the tie-dye look, bright colors, and statement-making pieces. <laughs> I look like I'm Fidel Castro. <laughs> I was just going to say. And it's safe to say his love for hats is still strong. Ever the fashion-loving guy, JB also launched his own streetwear line, Drew House. Here's to another decade of the Biebs and his epic style. It's an amazing feeling, for sure.